Hello ladies and good evening. I can't. This cycle is literally going to have a million videos. I was just thinking that. I'm like, this cycle is going to have a million videos. Literally, I did a cycle day two video and six video and then every single day since then. I'm thinking about doing DPO videos. It's going to be interesting. Comment below if you have watched every video of this particular cycle. Let me know. Let, let me know. I'd, I'd be very interested in finding out. So, you know the drill. This thing takes a while, a full five minutes for it to tell me what the results are. So I'm just going to get started with that and then pop back in so we can talk. Test day and it's about 7.25 p.m. <laughs> and I've already dipped so that we can make this process a little faster. And it goes in here and then we wait for the results. Identifying. Identifying. All right, testing, testing, one, two, three, testing, testing. All right, so let's chitter chatter while that does its thing. So I took my BPT today, even though I said yesterday I wasn't gonna take it because I missed it and I wasn't gonna be able to figure out what I wanted to figure out, I still decided I was gonna do it anyway. <laughs> because I still wanna see any type of rise that there is. So the last temperature I had the day before yesterday was 96.68. When I took it today, it was 97.07. So it definitely had quite the rise. I do not have the middle number, so that's kind of sucky. Um, but according to all the information in my app, they believe that I'm going to ovulate today on cycle day 12. And in most cases, my app is pretty spot on, like 100% spot on. And the app that I use is Fertility App. I actually use three different apps, um, but the main one that I use and that I've actually only been using this cycle is Fertility Friend. And so I'll leave a card about the video that I've done on Fertility Friend because I started this little mini series on fertility apps and there's still one or two videos I need to do on them as a matter of fact, um, but on fertility apps. So the one on Fertility Friend, I will leave somewhere up and around here so you can click it if you are interested in that. Um, other than that, I have not noticed any egg white CM today, so I'm guessing egg white CM season is over for now. I mean, although I didn't do an invasive check, so I can't really tell you, but from the outside, I don't have any signs of any egg white CM. Um, I'm definitely keeping my fingers and my toes crossed in this cycle, definitely staying super, super positive. Oh, I meant to show you guys one of my anniversary gifts from my husband that I absolutely do in love. All right, so this is one of the bracelets that my husband had got me for our wedding anniversary, amongst other little gifts. And so apparently he picked it up at the Christian bookstore, and I absolutely love what it says. So it's in different, like, gold tones. Um, but the main thing it says is faith, hope, and love. And so I kind of like to read it, love, faith, and hope. And it always just kind of reminds me of my TTC journey. The love, obviously, the love that we share, our marriage, all that good stuff. And then faith, just keeping our faith in God and just keeping our faith in the process, you know, and believing that we will definitely be successful in conceiving our rainbow baby. And then just continuing to stay hopeful because as I tell you guys all the time, you have to remain hopeful because I feel like the moment that you lose hope in your TTC journey is a moment that it just starts going really downhill. So you don't want to leave yourself in a hopeless situation. And so one of the most important things I think that you definitely need in a TTC journey is hope. And but I thought that this was like the sweetest thing ever and I wear it every day and I'm absolutely in love with it. So but in that, life is still the same. I didn't make my guacamole yesterday. I'm actually going to end up making it this evening because it has so much leftovers. <laughs> like I came in, I was hungry, I cooked, and when you cook every single day, you usually have leftovers. And now I'm like, okay, there's two meals of leftovers, so we need to eat the leftovers and cook something different tomorrow. Um, so I decided instead of cooking, I would make the guacamole today. So that should be yummy, yummy, yummy. Oh, and I'll show you the two bags of chips that I picked up as well. But let's see what's going down with this. It hasn't beeped yet. By the time you see it, we'll get the results. <laughs> All right, so we turn this on, remove test, and it is my second day of peak fertility, so that is awesome, awesome, awesome sauce. Um, usually, generally, there usually is two days, and then 
sometimes the day after it'll say like high but then sometimes the day after it'll say low so i'm very interested in seeing what tomorrow holds but second day uh let me look at my line so that i can show you what it looks like on the inside all right so this is the inside for people who are interested um, I don't know what's happening with the line there. There definitely is a line there. It's lighter than this line, but I think there's something up with that line because it's not even fully colored in, but I know they do it based off of like your chemicals and all this other stuff, so I'm not really too worried. But there it is. So I made the guacamole and it is absolutely divine. And the chips I have picked up were pico de gallo corn chips by Garden of Eating. Very good, and then just between yellow chips. But this, it's too good. It's fattening and good. But it's a superfood, so I can eat a good amount of it.